Hello, this is Stumpy, and welcome back to my Let's Play on Detective Pikachu. I need to start off by letting you know that I kind of missed an episode. So basically, uh, I recorded an episode, and the video was all fine, but sadly, my audio just didn't record properly, so there was no commentary, which means it would be like half an hour of me just wandering around talking to people, you're not being able to hear me. I don't know, maybe that sounds like an improvement for uh, for you, maybe you just mute me anyway. But yeah, sadly, uh, I wasn't able to upload the episode, so we have missed one. The good news, though, is that I didn't do very much in the last episode. <laughs> Basically, I couldn't solve the case. I just wandered around speaking to everyone, and it was actually pretty boring. So <laughs> I think I've just saved you, to be honest. So yeah, let's uh, look at the, the silver lining and say uh, you haven't lost out on too much. But uh, the big thing is that uh, we spoke to a bunch of people. Uh, we found out that the, um, the the facility here, PCL, had burnt down and was built again, uh, and that there was a bunch of founding uh kind of Pokemon and stuff and then uh, yeah spoke to the director and they said to read a bunch of books here uh, we looked at a picture with the founding members uh, and uh, you can see there's a bunch of people and then there's a bunch of Pokemon uh, and you can see one of them is Gengar and then also I read some information so there we go uh, which said apparently it can uh, curse people even use hypnosis uh, and uh, when you're in a room with Gengar it's 10 degrees colder and then if we go and have a, a look-see here, we can see that the temperature is 59 degrees. We also checked the uh, security system and we saw that no one had left the facility. So I think it's Gengar and I think he's somewhere in the facility. So that's basically what I spent half an hour trying to, to find out. And so yeah, there's a, a, a brief summary. So I guess we can look at our, our case notes and uh, we need to see the... Um, I want to see this picture. I would say that without a doubt, the mysterious Pokemon we're looking for has been living here since way before the facility was rebuilt. It's likely the cause for the ghost stories. Tim, do you know which Pokemon it is? Think hard now. Uh, yeah, I believe it to be Gengar. Now why, do you why? Okay. This is always the, the most difficult part. Well, what are these? Uh, food disappears. Uh, room suddenly gets cold, I believe, is the correct answer. That's right. Yay! Yeah, you're right. The room that it's in does get a lot colder. This ghost story sounds a lot like Gengar. One more thing. How do you think it was able to go and steal Trevenant's lunch? Any insight? I mean, it's a ghost. Let's see what the, the options are. Oh, I don't know what. Oh, no. Oh, is it uh, hypnosis, maybe? Or curse? I don't, I'm trying to look at the little pictures. I don't... <laughs> yeah. Um, because of this one. No? I don't even know what those, like, those things were. Are you really sure that's a clue about the mysterious Pokemon? No. How do I see what like these things are meant to, to be? Let's just do all of them. No, nope. it's gonna be the last one I do, isn't it? It's gonna, it's gonna definitely be the last one I do. Are you really sure that's a clue about the No, I'm not sure it's the cure about the this one. Yay! Of course, whatever that is. It was hiding out the whole time in Trevenant's shadow. And oh. so what we saw in the video was <laughs> that's its That's what hand. that's supposed to be. I it just see. reached its hand out from the shadow. Tim, you're a great sleuth. Now we know the mysterious Pokemon is Gengar. They're like, Tim, you did so well. You kept guessing until you got it right. What an inspiring detective. Does that mean that Gengar's in this room? Because this room is cold. I'm not sure. I'll gather testimony from the other Pokemon. Okay, are we supposed to go and speak with all of the, the other Pokemon then? And what, maybe what, see if they've seen a, a Gengar hanging around the, the area? I don't know. Seems pretty likely. So I guess we should go and speak to all of the, the, the Pokemon in the, the courtyard first, if that is what we're supposed to do, seeing as these were the ones that were in the, the area. Oh. Okay, I can't... I can't say anything new about them. Let's go and uh, let's go speak to the, the the director then, maybe, because she's going to be the the main person who's going to want to to hear about all of our our findings. Uh, so yeah, maybe going to to speak to to her first is going to be a good uh, idea. Seeing as we pretty much know uh, what the the Pokemon is. Oh, I can't. I can't say. Well, what does the the case note say then? Uh, who is the mysterious Pokemon? I know it's Gengar. This particular issue is solved. Okay. Now what? <laughs> like, solve the case of the mysterious... Like, I know who the Pokemon is. 
What do I need to do for this then? Yes. So now we know what we're doing next. No, I don't know what we're doing. What are we doing next? Uh, so I went into a frenzy, mysterious Pokemon, coincidence, valence, uh, no, no people or Pokemon went outside. Uh, find out about PSA a long time ago, I did that. Uh, the Black Shadow is Gengar. How, oh, how can we catch it? Oh. Um. I don't, well, it likes food, doesn't it? It keeps trying to eat food. Maybe we're supposed to, to set a, a trap for it somewhere. Let's maybe go and see if we can speak to, to Nina. But yeah, we need to try and, try and trap the, the Gengar somehow. Nope, I can't speak to to her about Gengar. Is anyone going to let me say anything about all of this? Pikachu, help me out here. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to, to trap this thing? I literally have no idea. Unless we can speak to, to any of the other Pokemon inside. Because Pikachu was saying about getting testimonies, uh, testimonies? testimonies uh, from the, the other Pokemon. But it doesn't seem like I can, like, ask any of the, the other Pokemon. So I wonder... If I'm meant to capture it in the library. Oh yeah, I've got this light. Ah, uh, the light! The flashlight! If it keeps hiding in the shadow, then I could use the flashlight to reveal it. But it won't let me pick up that- If it lets me, in the future, pick up that flashlight, after I've tried to pick up that flashlight like 10 times, and it keeps just saying like, Ah, looks like a megaphone or a flashlight, but it didn't let me pick it up, then that's gonna drive me crazy. Because I have- w The second I saw that flashlight, I was like, that- is a useful item that's going to come in handy, but it hasn't let me pick it up this entire time. Let's maybe go back to the the library then, because that does seem to be the most likely place to, to catch it, just because that's where it is. And oh, Pikachu's got something to, to say. Uh, of all the places we've checked up to now, there was only one oddly cold room. Do you remember which one it was? It was the I was just going there, Pikachu. That's it, the library. Gengar is probably in there. Yep, let's go see. Okay, so it looks like I was correct on that front that we're probably going to have to trap it in the library. Was this- oh, did I go in the wrong door? Did I, no, I didn't go in the wrong door. Okay, so it's probably inside of here. But where? Gengar should be in this room. Um, I don't see it anywhere. That's for sure. Hey, Gengar, show yourself. It's not coming out. How dare it ignore me? It must be hiding in the shadows. We need to lower it out somewhere. How about it? Got any ideas? Uh, give it a poker puff. Use a flashlight! That's it. We can use a flashlight to get rid of it in the shadows and flush it out. Let's go find a flashlight. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me, Detective Pikachu? Are you- I- oh, he's got it. Mr. Gengar. Easy. <laughs> come out, come out wherever you are. Gang! Oh, there you are. We've got you now. So you might as well give up! Gengar! Gengar! Now, Gengar, come to the light! Gengar! Watch out! It's using Confuse Rays! Ah, okay, okay. I guess we should have expected this, but Gengar isn't very friendly. I need to get the timing right, and boo! There we go, good. But it looks so happy! Okay, well, catching Gengar didn't go particularly to plan. Great save, Tim. It was almost game over <laughs> for me. But still, Gengar has managed to get away from us once again. Our big challenge now is to figure out how to stop it from doing that. Hmm. Okay, so we know how to to reveal where Gengar is by using the, the flashlight. I don't know if it's going to be coming back into the, the library. We need to find a way to stop it. I wonder if we can, like, reflect the con confuse ray with, like, a mirror or something? Let's see what the, the case notes say. How will we catch Gengar? Who would have thought that Gengar would escape like that? Is there no way to catch that thing? <sighs> so it went through the, the door. I wonder if there's a way to, like... Like, make it try and go through the door, but it ends up... Oh! Yeah, yeah. I can see you, Gengar. What's Pikachu have to, to say? Let's go tell Torafi what the mysterious Pokemon was. 
Okay, but that means we have to go like right up to Gengar and it's kind of scaring me at the end of the corridor. Don't attack me, don't attack me, don't attack me. Okay, it was running away anyway, yeah. So I think Dorothy was the uh, the, the director of the, the facility. So now we can go and uh, and let her her know. What was with that flash? Like the thing is, is exactly what they did is what I wanted to do, but it just wouldn't let me do it until it did its little cutscene. Like that's kind of the, the problem with these kind of detective games is when they don't give you like as much freedom. A lot of the time you've kind of worked out the answer or you know what you want to do. But then the game just won't like let you do it until it wants you to do it or you do it in a very specific way. <laughs> and sometimes it can just literally drive me crazy as you heard me have a little breakdown earlier. Anyway, we've done it though. So let's go speak to, to Dorothy. Dorothy, I think the mysterious Pokemon is Gengar. Yes? What? Tell me everything you know. From what I was told, I deduced that the culprit was Gengar. But we've been trying to capture it, but it keeps getting away. It's done that once. <laughs> Gengar is a ghost type Pokemon, so capturing it will be tricky. Would you happen to have any ideas? Um, let's see. Maybe some tools I made a while back will come in handy. I was doing research on capturing Pokemon and one of the tools I used will probably work on ghost types. Pokemon too. So it should be in the storeroom. Okay, let's go to the, the storeroom and see what Pokemon capturing equipment is going to be. I want it to be like the, um, oh, what are the, like the proton cannons, whatever the things are from ghost, uh, um, hello. Hello, from uh, from Ghostbusters. I want to use them. I want to use them to try and capture the Pokemon. Oh no, or like um the the vacuum cleaner from Luigi's Mansion. <laughs> I want to to use that to to try and capture Gengar. I'm assuming it's uh, it's probably not going to to be that, but we will see what it's going to be. Unless that was the it wasn't a flashlight, and that was the Pokemon catching gear, the thing on the side here. Ah, yeah, this thing is still here. So where did where did Pikachu get that flashlight from then? Pikachu, this must be it. Yeah, I don't know how it works, but it's our only hope. Ah, so it's not a light, it's catching equipment. Tim, you're good. We'll use this to catch it. Great. Okay, well, we got the equipment. You don't really know <laughs> how it works, though, but I guess we'll give it a go. So it looks like Gengar is continuing to, to hang out outside of um, uh, Dorothy's office. So uh, let's go and head back there and see if she's still, uh, if he's uh, still hanging out in the, the the area and see if we're going to, to be able to, to catch him. And once again, save the day, might I add. What was this research facility going through before I showed up? Right, it's here. Do we just go up and like click on it? Oh, it's gone. Where'd it go? Do you reckon it went inside of uh, this office here? I think it might have, because we haven't really done much inside of this office. So, <laughs> I think it would be, yeah, I, I knew there'd be something else we'd have to do in here. Ganga. It's here! You're not getting away this time! Okay, I'm gonna have to do it, I'm gonna have to do it. Forgive me now if I do this wrong. Okay, floating around, and got it! Good, perfect. Now, Pikachu! Try this on for size! It's literally just a giant net. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it. Yep, no big deal. Let's see what it has to say. Oh, poor Gengar. So it seemed to be unhappy because it was saying that it was here before the, the facility. We captured Gengar. I wonder what it has to say. Yeah, so it looks like we can now have a, a chat with uh, with Gengar. But yeah, basically it was here before the facility was rebuilt. And so it seems to be a little bit upset that they've, like, built over where it lives by the, the sounds of it. But yeah, let's see what Gengar has to, to say. Gengar's partner is the mastermind. We need to find out who that is. I'm thinking one of the researchers, possibly. So it's our job, then, to go and rip off their disguise. Huh? First things first. We have to get Gengar to tell us what it knows. What was that about his partner? Where did Pikachu find that out? <laughs> That's news to me. Right, let's go speak to, to Gengar then. Hello, Gengar. Sorry for trapping you, but you can probably understand why. We got you at last. Give up. You're not going to get away with this time. Good. Well now, let's see what you have to say. Why did you do that? Gengar. What? It was just a little prank? That was nothing so innocent. Just what did you make Trevon and eat? An intensely spicy berry? Your friend gave you? Stop lying! Hmm, you really didn't know. Looks like you've got a good friend. What friend? Who was it? Huh, a human wearing white clothes. I knew it! It's one of the staff. Hey, tell us what that person looks like. You don't know, hmm? I guess it can't be helped. Do you remember anything else? Anything at all? I see. 
That person always operates the secret device in the library and comes to play with you. Secret device? What's that? What? The shelf in the middle of the library? There are books with yellow, blue, green, and red symbols on their spines? When you pull them in that order, the device activates, hey? Then what happens? What? You said too much? You promised to keep it a secret? Hmm, I guess we'll have to figure out the rest on our own. Ah, okay. So I guess uh, we should go and head back to the, the library uh, library then. You stay just where you are, Gengar, for now, before you cause any more trouble. So yeah, it looks like Gengar is partnered with someone. I'm thinking Fridge, you know? I've, re I've, al I've always suspected Fridge from the very beginning. He seemed too friendly and too too cool of a dude, and I didn't trust him. Uh, so it's in the middle of the shelf, ones of the symbols. Can you any symbols? Any symbols? Ah! Oh, I see the symbols! Uh, there's a, a blue square, uh, and then there's a yellow triangle, and then uh, a red triangle, and then a green diamond at the bottom. Uh, let's put them all in that order that Gengar said. Uh, what order did he say? Uh, green? Oh, do I have to pull them out? Oh, I didn't even- I can't remember what he said. Let's, let's just see if I get lucky. I mean, I, I guessed all right earlier, I guess. <laughs> Is that right? No, that's not right. Uh, let me go and check my, let me go and check my, my notes. Can I, um, is it going to say what the, the order was? There's a secret device in the library. Let's go check it out. No, oh, I can't remember the order. Oh, let me go speak to Gengar again. I can't, <laughs> I can't remember. I can't, I wasn't paying attention to that. Like, I thought it would be, I don't know, maybe there is a way to see it in my, my notes uh, or, or something, but I thought it would stay written down somewhere so I'd be able to, to check. It's only four, so I'm sure if I speak to him again, I will be able to, to remember. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. You found Gengar. Great job, Tim. I can't believe you caught Gengar. He's all tied up, but be careful. Sure, leave it at us. We'll keep an eye on Gengar. Okay, right. Looks like the the reporters have showed up inside of here. Uh, yeah, secret advice in the library. So tell us more. Blah 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 blah. Uh, yellow, blue, green, and red. And is that the order? Yellow, blue, green, red. 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 I've got such a bad memory. Yellow, blue, green, red. 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 Yellow, blue. I've remembered it. It was only four. Green and red. Good? All good. <laughs> this one. Ooh. So that's how it works. Ooh. This is like some kind of secret passageway. I wonder where it leads to. Well, let's find out. Yeah, let's go. Well, this is getting like a bit scary. <laughs> this mystery is getting a little bit more mysterious than I expected. So, someone other than Gengar is coming down here. Sure is a we need to work out who. God, hopefully they're not down here, because I'll be scared. Oh, there's a door. See if it opens. Okay. I'm assuming we're going to have to look for a clue. Here we go. To see who's been coming down here. Underground laboratory. Maybe this was part of the old lab before they built the new one. It could be left over. Doesn't look like anyone's here. So is this the room that Gengar was guarding? I wonder what this is. Hmm. Maybe it has something to do with why Trevenant went berserk. Let's check it out. Yeah. I wonder if there's going to be any of those, <laughs> some of those spicy foods. So yeah, there was something on the table here. Uh, look, Pikachu, it's Trevenant's leftovers from lunch. Yep, Trevenant chowed down on this and went berserk. That Gengar brought it here to hide it. Okay, uh, quite an old notebook. Looks like it's from before PCO was rebuilt. I reckon that's right. Uh, signature is John Walls. <laughs> I've seen that name somewhere before. For now, let's just give it a read. 
I combined the necessary materials and let it mature for a day, but the resulting medicine had a different effect than uh, I had anticipated. I built the basement so that I would have a more stable environment to conduct experiments in. As expected, being underground has made my work easier due to more stable temperature. And yet I can't seem to achieve the kind of results I'm aiming for. My goal was to energize the Pokemon in order to boost their healing abilities. But the effects so far have been too strong. Still, I won't give up. I will complete my all-purpose medicine no matter what. Today's batch has been even more pronounced effect than normal. When I checked, I was told that the batch had been left to mature for a whole week. It seems Simon misunderstood my instructions or something. But this is the exact opposite effect from the medicine I'd hoped to complete. I must find a way to stabilize the effects. I've been tricked! The cells I obtained were not from that Pokemon. That is most likely why we can't get the effects to stabilize. I never suspected that the cells were from... Well, what cells did he use? The writing is smudged, I can't read it. The rest of the journal is torn away too. Hmm. Very, very mysterious. I wonder if whatever he was talking about was what ended up being inside of the, the food. Tim, look, we found what we've been looking for. A vial. It's set in that machine. Yep. What was the culprit up to here? Hmm. I wonder if this was in any way related to, 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 to Tim's dad. Maybe. There's a notebook. It says it's a research log. Could this room be the culprit's laboratory? Let's check out this notebook. February 13th, 2.30am. Uh, it's last year's date. We stumbled across some materials from the old laboratory while searching through the library and found out about this room. The former staff apparently used this room for secret experiments. I heard PCL was closed down a while back because Pokemon went berserk. Could this have anything to do with that? First, I will read through the materials in this room. It seems that this room is where R, a substance that strengthens Pokemon, was developed. The effects of R are temporary and the side effects are severe. It's not practical in its current form. However, I've never seen such an interesting bit of research. I'll keep it as a secret from my fellow researchers for now. Who was writing this then? I reckon this is whoever was teamed up with Gengar. I've been contacted by a mysterious person. I was asked if I had a substance that would make Pokemon go berserk without the cause being determined. They've offered quite a large amount. I need the capital co to continue this research. Luckily, the efficiency of the substance meets their request. Uh, page two. Sorry, a lot of reading, guys. Feel, f feel free to skip ahead if you're not interested, but this might be really important. There was already someone in here when I entered the room. Gengar. It was the partner of one of the old staff members. It has appear apparently been living here alone since the laboratory was closed. It seems to have been away for a while, and that's why I hadn't met it until now. Gengar can't be seen by the surveillance cameras, so it can enter and exit PCL freely. Ah, so I reckon this is the current person who's now still working and teamed up with Gengar. So let's see if there's any clues to find out who it's going to, to be. It's no use. Working hidden away from prying eyes is slowing down the progress of my research. I need to move this equipment somewhere where I can work in peace. First, I need to analyze the equipment so that uh, I can move it. This date is pretty recent. Yep, uh, that's when we came here. Finally, I've finished my analysis of the equipment. Now I can move the R production equipment and conduct my research as I wish. Hmm. Who is it though? Who is this person researching R, the worst named medicine ever? What are you thinking, Pikachu? Hmm. A research log, a vial. Who could run experiments at that time? <laughs> a bolt of brilliance! I know the culprit! Tim, do you know who it is, right? That person! Have you figured out who the culprit is? Uh... No. But I'm gonna say yes. Alright, I expect nothing less from you. What's the evidence? The research log. I know how you feel, but isn't there some better evidence? The vial! I know how you feel, but isn't there some better evidence? The research log! That's right! <laughs> You're amazing, Tim! <laughs> the research log. According to the date and time, the culprit was in the basement when we came to PCL. But the information we got here isn't enough to prove it on its own. We need this last piece of evidence. What last piece of evidence? 
Yeah, we need evidence that the culprit was in this room at that time. There's a place we can go to check on that outside of this room. You're being awfully vague, Pikachu. Yeah, I wanted to see your deductive powers, uh, prowess. All right, let's get out of this basement. So, do you think we need to go and check the, the security camera? To, to see who wasn't there when we first arrived? Was it Wallace? I don't know. Is there a security camera in this room? I'm not sure if there if there is, but basically we are getting very close to, to unraveling this mystery. Maybe I should have said no. <laughs> when Pikachu asked me, I'm like, yeah, sure, I've worked it out. I'll make it up as a, as I go along. Sadly, though, that is going to be the, the end of this episode here. I'll continue to upload these pretty regularly so we can go and uh, carry on and uh, find out uh, who the culprit is together. Uh, I don't know, maybe you've already worked it out and I'm just being dumb, which uh, wouldn't be the first time that happened. But yeah, that's the end of this one here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!